All right, guys, so we've got a lot to talk about in today's video. So we're going to be doing a Q&A after we do some pipe pulls because I wanted to do some pipe pulls and kind of get them really quickly over with. And then there's something I want to really want to talk about after the Q&A section, which the Q&A section is probably gonna be the biggest part. But the part after it's going to be kind of a little long of a discussion, too. So, yeah, I know there's a lot to throw in right there, but I just want to you know go in and do our pipe pulls immediately very fast i'll just probably put in the best parts of the pipe pulls and that's basically it because all right guys here's our gold pipe what are we getting let's get some good luck can we get some good luck with these pipes gift pipes have been kind of a very mixed reception star we're we getting what are we getting okay tanuki Mario going to level three i mean <laughs> Not gonna ever use him, but okay, whatever. It's it's Tanuki Mario. I still like Tanuki Mario, but it's a character I'm really never gonna ever use. I think this one after will be another gold pipe, so. What do we got on this one? Okay, Gilded Prancer. We actually got this one last tour, I think, out of one of these pipes. Actually, no. I didn't actually get to tell you guys. I think it might have been two tours ago. We got that car actually out of the um we got that car out of the token shop pipe, which I actually never showed that part because it was like just random extra token pipes. So it wasn't really one that I could make out of a video. But yeah, I got uh, I got a token pipe and it was a, I think it was actually a fake and I got that cart, which I never had before. Lots of item tickets I've been noticing. There's been a lot of item tickets I've gotten out of these token pipes. It's not really anything else. But, um, yeah, token pipes, I, oh, so in the coins, I get so many coins out of these things as well, which is not really necessarily a bad thing. I love buying the tickets from the tier shop and daily selects, um, specifically the high ends. Those are the ones I usually get, but you see what I mean? So many of these are just literally, um, item tickets. And speaking of, you know, odds and stuff, I've been told that the odds have changed a lot, um, within this new tour. And it's not in a good way either. They changed it so it's much harder to get anything good. And I don't know if that's just for these pipes or if it's just for the gift pipes or if it's for the multiplayer, which I'm really worried about because multiplayer is my most hyped up um, pipes that I love doing each tour. Always been getting a ton of good luck out of them too as well. So I don't know. Maybe we still might get luck out of them. Maybe we might not. Maybe the luck might end because of them putting the percentage a little bit harder to get stuff out of but who knows and i also get a ton of glider point boost tickets out of this but yeah i guess that's all that those pipes we can do so let's go on to the multiplayer pipes the most hyped up um pipes that we've got let's get right into it so I, I always get so happy to do these let's see, maybe our gold pipe streak might end okay never mind why would i why would i assume it would even end why would i assume that all right what do we got here Drop a glider, level 8, two, that, 250 coins, whatever. Start tickets. <laughs> Driver point boost tickets. 1,000 coins. Heart shaped balloon. We don't actually have that one. That's nice. Glad it's not just, you know, a Thrander coins balloon. <laughs> Koopa Troopa. Oops, quick ticket. Did not mean to click that very fast. Koopa Paratroopa balloon. We do have that one, so. 300 coins. Double high end, though. 1,500 coins. Need some tickets, guys. I mean, I think the tickets were actually the thing that might have been the more harder thing to get, but... Okay, at least we got a new balloon out of that. I'll take that, but I, I, I really want to see tickets. Cool. See? See, this is what I mean. They, they lower the percent. They lower percent. That's been like our... Well, maybe this might still be a fake. Who knows? Alright, so I guess we still have not ended up getting a single 10 pull out of these multiplayer pipes so far without it just being a, a fake or you know something gold related or high-end related i get it literally just it it literally never stops i just don't understand how we don't do not get you know non-gold pipes kamek balloon even though it's 300 coins still another high-end <laughs> blooper balloon nice Quick tickets. I need to save quick tickets again. I've been using so much lately. What? Wow. Three high ends. Another quick ticket. Three high ends out of this ten pool. Honestly, I kind of take that as a win because of it just being a fake and three high ends, even though um, two of them we already had, it's still fine. 
See? Everything... I don't think we've ever gotten a fully full-on green multiplayer pipe. Alright, let's see what this tour brings us with these multiplayer pipes for this ending. Let's see what we got in this. Pink Mushmallow. Lots of commons. I've not seen much supers at all today. Quick ticket. Paint Piranha Plant Parafoil. 8-Bit Jumping Mario. Paper Glider. Tickets? I'm not that kind of ticket. I want a high-end ticket, guys. Hmm. We might be only getting one high-end out of here, but let's hope it's a ticket. Heart shaped one. We just got that one. Wow. Okay, yeah, that, that was a... I do gotta say that was a pretty terrible pull. Alright, our all clear pipe. Final pipe of this tour. What do we got here? Okay, Black Turbo Yoshi. That's nice. I could have sworn we already had that, but I'm think probably thinking of Black Turbo Birdo. Nice. Alright, y'all. So, I know that was a very quick pipe session, and I know I usually make it, you know, like, way longer than um, what it was for today. Um, I kind of want to get straight to the point of what this whole video is going to be about today, and that's mainly because of the Q&A. Um, I, I do apologize, it's a little bit late, but I've been spending a lot of time with family and, you know, Christmas and holidays are around the corner, so. It's not just the Q&A I also want to talk about, but one of these questions kind of made me did think about where the future of this channel will be going, and this is a very serious topic, so we'll be talking about that at the end of this video, and I don't know how long that's going to go on for, but I've got a ton of thoughts, so it may be the longest part of this video, I'm not sure, it depends on how long these questions will be, and I know some of you asked some really good questions, so. Let's get right into the Q&A part of this. So, KChad575 asks, Out of all the music in Sonic Frontiers, both Cyberspace and Journal songs, what is your favorite to listen to? Definitely the Titan bosses. The Titan bosses in Sonic Frontiers, the music in them is outstanding, and it's definitely one of my most favorite soundtracks in the entire Sonic franchise. Definitely the best one in it is Undefeatable. Undefeatable and Find Your Flame are my most favorite, but definitely Undefeatable is my most favorite soundtrack in the entire game. I also like Dear Father a lot, and I'm with you. Those two are also really good. Those are one of my most favorite um, music in the entire franchise. And just Sonic Frontiers in general is just an outstanding game. It's really good. I mean, look, I even put it in the back right here because it's just that good of a game, and I'm not afraid to show off the Sonic game at all in my videos. Next question comes from Coden Legends. Once again, if I say any of these names wrong, just let me know down below. But I I'm sorry, it's just how I speak. But what are your favorite alts for each individual character in the game? There's quite a lot of characters, so I'll probably just name off maybe my top three. Um, Vacation Luigi is one of my most favorite alts, both because he's really cool and he's Luigi. So as much as value-wise this character is, Santa Mario is one of my most, most other favorite alt in the game because, I don't know, I just like the design of Santa Mario. It's so cool, and I loved him in Odyssey, and yeah. I definitely gotta say, another one that I really like is either King Mario or a Gold PD. I really like those uh, alts. I know Gold PD is just, you know, a regular gold alt, but for something, for some reason, I really like the design of Gold PD. Luis Lopez, or Lopes, asks, What's your favorite track from each wave of the Mario Kart Deluxe Booster Course Pass? Okay, so, I love a lot of the tracks in the Booster Course Pass. There's definitely more that there's definitely some that stick out more than the others. I definitely gotta say that for the first wave, it either has to go to Chalka Mountain, Ninja Hideaway, or Shroom Ridge. I think Shroom Ridge might beat that for me. I really love the death out of that track in the Booster Course Pass. Um, wave 2 will either go to Mushroom Gorge or Sydney Sprint. I can't really decide because Sydney Sprint has amazing music. And Mushroom Gorge is just an overall fun and nostalgic and iconic track. And then Wave 3, Maple Tree Way all the way, baby. Maple Tree Way all the way. Definitely my most favorite out of that wave. Jay Feather asks... How would you rank each city track in MKT? Track layouts and soundtrack wise. Berlin is my personal favorite, you know? That's really good. That's one of my most favorite um, as well. Berlin is definitely up there, but Bangkok is definitely my most favorite city track. And it's also a really good track layout. There's multiple alternate paths. There's Inky Piranha Plants, which is such a cool and inventive idea that I love a lot for that track. And the track overall is just so much fun. It's It's got such a great layout. I love the sunset look. They need to do that more with the, like, you know, nitros and cities that they make um, within Mario Kart Tour. And I definitely got to say, I got to agree with you with the soundtrack. Berlin is definitely my most favorite soundtrack, along with Singapore Speedway. Singapore Speedway is always going to be one of my most favorites as well. Jack the Dark Blue Yoshi asks, which driver, cart, and glider are you missing that you want the most? 
I'm not actually entirely sure. Um, for drivers, I really want Holidaisy, actually. She's really cool, and I really never thought of really getting her very much. There's not really a specific driver I'm going after for. I definitely can name off Glider, and that's Wonderful Wings, and I don't necessarily want to buy that in a spotlight shop because it's a regular high-end. I mean, I might do it at some point if I don't get it anytime soon um if i really need to it's a really good glider though and car I'm, I'm not really entirely sure about car either but glider i definitely gotta say wonderful wings is definitely the one i want the most j tendo asks which originally created an mkt track is your favorite now since this other comment that we just talked about ranking each city track um i didn't really rank each of them by the way but i just said my most favorite stuff out of them but they said what is your most favorite originally created mkt track um, definitely got to go with Mary Mountain so far because there could be another one in the near future because um, I could definitely see according to data mines that some of them might end up being some of my most favorites but for now Mary Mountain is definitely my most favorite um, I love the holiday time I love the Christmas time I love the merry oh jolly time you know around this area so that's why it's my most favorite track and it's just good music good design the whole thing is just so good Thomas Starling Collector asks, if there was a brand new city you could add to Marker Tour, what would it be and why? I've been saying for a long time, ever since even the game with its original backdrop, we need an Egypt track. We need a desert track heavily. I think the only kind of type of desert track we have is Calamari Desert, which is a desert track, but at the same time, we have like other kinds of desert tracks like Yoshi Desert, which just gonna spoil it a little bit it might be coming to the game but i'm just saying might and something like dry dry ruins was also data mined as well so we could be seeing those tracks soon and i feel like we could get an egypt track and i'm really hoping we still do mario world asked do you think Goo luigi will make an appearance in mario Kartor? i could kind of see that happening i'm kind of um disappointed we haven't seen something like that yet because that that right there is a really cool alt that i would definitely buy maybe he might even come this halloween i'm not entirely sure i'm kind of also hoping for a professor e get alt but yeah i could definitely still being a possibility i'm just not entirely sure if that's what nintendo would put in you know as a first halloween type of alt Lil games asks what other driver would you want to see in mkt that is not wiggler 100 percent spike I know I always talk about Wiggler a lot and how much I love him, but Spike is definitely my second runner-up as my most wanted character to come to Marker Tour, and it also would be a full-on new original driver, which we don't really see much of those now, um, very much nowadays, but yes, I would love to see Spike and, of course, Wiggler. King Zied or Zayed asks, do you think MKT will end soon or still a lot of stuff coming in the future? I think that the Booster Course Pass has something to relate to this, and people are probably going to be like, doesn't always mean that um to me i feel like it kind of does have something to do with the mark rate deluxe booster course pass because i think that tours new i don't think the game will end at all i don't think it'll end anytime soon like the online part of it or the game itself i think the new content that we get delivered is going to end maybe by the end of the beginning of like 2024 because we've got a ton of content in the game as it is and i could excuse me i could kind of see it ending around that sort of time and i could see them kind of ending off of like you know with something like we ramber road or we could even get that in the next tour or something but i, I don't know yona saunders asks what are your favorite video games to play besides the mario kart ones um i love playing the sauna games definitely i love playing the whole neighbor franchise which i did do a about like one or two videos a very long time ago um but no one's gonna remember that <laughs> J Plays asks if 8 Deluxe added every character cart and glider that Tor would ever had, would you stop playing Tor regularly? That is a very good question, and I think kind of maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Because Tor still has that fun aspect to it, um, with a few things like the comboing stuff. Like I really love doing grinding and stuff like that, which was why I come back to Tor at time because Mark Rate Deluxe doesn't have that. I love playing Mark Rate Deluxe. It's definitely a game that I want to cover more on the channel, and we'll get into that topic a little bit more later. But yeah, I think that if they added every character card and glider in from Tor, I would definitely. But at this point, I'm not entirely sure if they'll even you know add that kind of stuff. But you never know because Nintendo is just very random with adding DLC to games, so I don't know. CPE asks, what is your favorite and least favorite alt? Luigi Vacation, Mario Stormware. Fanboys asks, what hobbies do you have other than YouTube and gaming? 
Okay, I have a few actually. I love I love drawing and making um, artsy sort of things, and I love taking long walks outside. That's, that's something I also like doing. I love getting a lot of exercise. Um, usually, like every day during the summer, I usually get about two hours each day just walking around outside, like kind of just chilling out, listening to music, just taking a nice stroll along, like you know, a path, like a walkway. So that's definitely one of the things I like doing, and of course, drawing. I love drawing and. At some point, I do want to show off some of my drawings, but yeah, let me know down below if you'd like to see actually some drawings at some point. Reflex3k asks, have you made ACR yet? No, I've been very close. One time I almost made it, but by a thousand points, I missed it. And that was the most frustrating thing ever. And that was actually last month when that happened. I think it was in when DK Mountain came in, the animal tour. I think it was that tour. I almost had made it and I just missed it by a tiny bit christmas luigi asks which mark or tour character is better yoshi kangaroo or reindeer yoshi um if you're talking about like uh track wise and value wise definitely kangaroo yoshi um he also has a really good power up compared to reindeer yoshi i don't remember what reindeer yoshi actually has but i know it wasn't really anything really good and his value is also not very good but i think for design wise i kind of really like reindeer yoshi's design he looks really cool I mean, Yoshi King Roo looks really cool too, definitely. Um, Shoutouts to Wilbur, by the way. He's, I still can't believe he actually predicted such a character to actually exist. It's so, so funny. But yeah, I think that overall, I like Reindeer Yoshi's design more. But definitely, if I was going to go for value, it's definitely King Roo Yoshi. Another question from KChads575 is, What other mobile games do you play? I don't really play actually any other mobile games. The only other mobile game that I might play sometimes, which I had started getting back into a little bit recently, is Sonic Forces Speed Battle. I used to cover that on the channel on my Sonic Saturdays series, which is now dead. I don't really do much of that anymore. I um, kind of just stick with Mario Kart stuff, but yeah. The only other game I play as a mobile game is Sonic Forces Speed Battle. Tyler Sists, <laughs> Tyler Six asks, Hey Ryder, happy holiday season to you. Why, thank you, and happy holiday season to you too as well. Let me start by asking, what is your general review on Marker Tour of this year? What is the pros and cons here? Okay, I'm going to answer that first. I kind of was actually going to make that into a separate video, so I hope you don't mind if I wait for that part of the question to come out into a different video, because I actually already have that in the works right now. So be prepared for that video towards the end of the year somewhere. And another question that they asked um, is, and secondly, would you ever do like Mario Kart multiplayer streams on YouTube? I hope you had an amazing 2022. I did, and I hope you did too. I really want to do multiplayer live streams. I don't know how much people would actually want to join them because I don't know how I don't know how well it would even stream either, and I don't really know much about streaming. So I really want to do like Mario Kart Deluxe streaming, especially with the new custom items mode that's came out recently. I'd also love to do Marker Tours uh, um, multiplayer as well, but I think I'd like to do a Marker Deluxe more with multiplayer live streams, but I might do them in the future. Um, it depends on how much people would actually want me to do it. Xenk asks, what are your in-game goals after tier 80, and will you be spending less time in Ranked Cup now you have the Gold Misu? I'm taking a little bit of a break definitely from Ranked Cup and just the overall game in general. I'm not really grinding through very much because, you know, just ACR um, raging and um, I feel like um, health has been kind of, you know, a little bit mixed when it comes to Marker Tour for me personally. And yes, um, basically I'll be taking a little bit break um, from going up in tiers. I might still try going for it. That basically will be my goal is to try to get to tier 99 because I still really want to go up. But I'm just going to take a few tours a little bit stepping back. I still will try to stay in the general area of 80. Probably maybe stay around 79 and 78 if I can. Willow asks, who would... Okay, yeah, they, they asked this question. But let's go to the second one. If a new Nitro track like Ninja Hideaway comes to tour, what would you want it to be? I want to see a Yoshi's Island Nitro, which has also been data mined um, to be coming to Mark Wright Deluxe and I think also to Mark Wright Tour. So, yeah, I really want to see a Yoshi's Island one. Actually, one I'd really love to see that I don't think is I don't think has been data mined is just a full-on new Donkey Kong track. I really need to see more represent representation for Donkey Kong. As it is right now, I got a new shirt, Donkey Kong. We need some more DK representation. I know all the Kong fans like Kevin Garrett. Um, definitely we need some more Kong representation because it's kind of ridiculous we haven't gotten anything, even outside of Mario Kart, just not much DK representation at all. Supernova asks, what courses do you hope will be added in the future? Um, let's see. 
We Rainbow Road, N64 Bowser Castle, and that's basically it, really. I mean, there's a few that I'd love to see, but those two definitely I really highly want. All right, so Kian asks, he asks three different questions. What's the most overrated and underrated video game in your opinion? Don't hate me. Breath of the Wild is very overrated. I mean, I like the game, but I think it's very overrated. An underrated video game, in my opinion, is definitely... I, I kind of go, gotta go with Nintendo Switch Sports, because I feel like the game died very fast. I gotta say, the game is still really fun, in my opinion. And also, I kind of gotta say, Marketor is very underrated. Like, a lot of the big YouTubers kind of say it's garbage and everything, even after when we got a lot of the gotcha stuff out of the way. Most, some of it is still here, but, you know, the majority, the bigger things are out of the way. Like, the big, expensive, like ridiculous packs and just the overall you know pipe um system is gone so I, th I kind of find the game still to be underrated in that kind of sort of sense um their second question was favorite food my most favorite food is pizza um number three is favorite movie or and tv show um my one, some of my most favorite series that i like watching um king of queens is like one of my most favorite tv shows out there and one of my most favorite movie franchises is definitely star wars Blue and Tag asks a few different questions. Um, what's a meme better than this? I gotta say none of them. That's a very powerful meme. Another question that they asked is, what courses from the GCN N64 would you like to see remade and put into MKT or MK Mark Rate Deluxe? Um, GCN, I would love to see Mushroom Bridge get recreated. I hope it does come to the Booster Course Pass and also get poured into Mark or Tour. N64, like I said earlier, I would love to see n64 bowser castle i think we've got a ton of n64 tracks in mario kart 8 but n64 bowser castle would end off my most favorite n64 tracks coming and gcn um even though we got dk mountain in mario kart um tour i'd love to see it get poured to mario kart deluxe i'm definitely another favorite gcn track of mine final question that i saved for last because there's got to be a huge thing that we got to talk about um fluffy bunny 77 asks what got you to start and keep going with youtube Oh boy. So I have a very long um, journey with uh, making YouTube. Like, as you all know, I've been almost like three years ago since I first started making videos. I gotta admit something. It's not the first time I made it videos. Yeah, I know. It's insane. I said it. This is not the first time. I had a different channel. Quite a, f a few, actually. <laughs> when I was younger. Well, a little bit younger, maybe about like five or six years ago. I think I might save that for something else to talk about, but I kind of want to reveal I started YouTube way earlier, but I will, I will talk about a little bit more on why I started coming to tour. I wanted to start coming to tour because mainly because of just the overall hatred that was towards tour during that time. And I think the main reason why I wanted to start doing stuff was because of data mines. Data mines with that huge data mine that we got a little while ago. It was definitely a while ago. Um, Yoshi Bear made a video on it, and I decided to watch it because I've never heard of Yoshi Bear before. And Yoshi Bear's video really got me intrigued into playing Tor again. And then I found people's channels like Sammy's. Sammy's channel, I love the death out of. I still love it to this day. Definitely one of my most favorite, and definitely you should go check out. Um, Sammy really got me inspired to start making my own types of Tor videos, and it kind of just kicked off from there. Um, I think my videos that got me uh, really up there was my pipe pulls, which is kind of where I want to lead off to this next discussion. Um, thank you for the question, by the way. Um, but this is where I want to kind of switch things a little bit and kind of add on to this sort of thing. What kept me growing from YouTube was I love going back to each tour, doing predictions, doing pipe pulls, doing tour reactions, doing tour previews. Will this need to change? I've been thinking about this for a very long time now. I've been thinking about it for the past four or five months or so. I just feel like my tour videos have been getting very, very dry. And I think you all could probably tell that because of the way of how I kind of talk and act now. I don't really scream over pipe holes anymore because it's not the regular, you know, pipe holes we're you know really used to and i feel like that was my most favorite part about making videos another thing i miss doing is predictions i don't do predictions videos as you all can tell and i know a lot of people didn't really ask me about it which is it, i guess is okay 
but I love doing predictions and I don't do those at all anymore on this channel besides, you know, for like Mercury Deluxe sort of things. This has got me thinking ever since, you know, the new era of tour, I loved it. I still love it, but I just feel like I, I don't feel like I really belong with the tour community anymore. I, it's, it's really hard for me to say this. I'm, I, I love tour. I'm still going to keep making videos on tour. I made a poll about on um, this, like about maybe a five or six days ago. And I've been thinking a ton about where this channel is going to be going. Um, a lot of people have been making me think about this lately. And I've noticed that my Mercury Deluxe videos, every single time I've made one, it's kind of skyrocketed. A lot of my videos have skyrocketed. And I feel like that could be the new direction of my channel. I, it's, guys, it's just, it's really hard for me to figure out what I'm going to do. All right. I'm still going to make tour videos, right? I'm going to still keep making tour reactions as usual. Make it on the same, you know, basis as preview reactions. I will do the same, but I might combine, you know, the better pipes that I get throughout the tour into the preview reaction, you know? kind of just make it so I have two tour videos once a week now but I kind of want to transition I think it's kind of time you know I still love tour I'm still gonna keep making videos on it. I'm just gonna keep saying that so many times because I don't want people worrying that why are you leaving marker tour no I'm not I said I was never gonna leave tour I'm never gonna leave that site of the game the game has brought me so many different things it's brought me some good friends it's brought me so much love it's it's really really fun still and i can't ever leave it it's just a habit whenever tour will actually forcefully end from nintendo is when that time will happen but from now for now i'm not leaving tour i'm not gonna ever leave i'm always gonna keep making videos on tour it's just i kind of want to cut back a little bit and you already kind of saw i kind of been doing that already i've not been growing very much um lately from my tour videos but when i up on my mark rate deluxe that's where more people start coming in and seeing the potential I have. I feel like there's been so many good YouTubers out there. You got like Kevin Garrett, Studfit, Yoshi Bear, Carlife, Carlos. Everyone's doing such great content and they're getting, they're succeeding. And I love that. I love that they're succeeding. It's not that I'm not succeeding. I just feel like they've got their role in the marker tour community. And I feel like I don't really got a big you know role as them in the marker tour community and i feel like i don't want to over you know like try taking their ideas or anything i love what they do on their channels they deserve the best i feel like for me my time has come with focusing mainly on marker tour and kind of transition to more of marker Eight deluxe i'm kind of hoping to make a bunch of mod case um, mod showcase videos I feel like with Mark Ray Deluxe, I can also make better edited videos. I've got so many ideas for videos, so many. And I feel like I've, I given, uh, I've already given Mark Ray Deluxe a lot of chances with videos and every single video has done really well. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying those videos. But I think it's, like I said, the overall thing is, I think Mark Tour is gonna get cut back just a little bit with content. Don't worry, don't worry, like I said. Still doing tour reactions, still doing tour previews and probably gonna gonna combine pipes within that but probably make it so that it's the better pipes and not keep talking about you know just green pipes over and over again i want, kind of want to cut it down a little bit more with pipes now which i think it's also about time that i i just i think it's time to go well not you know not fully go i don't want to make this sound over dramatic because it's not i just it's a big change and it's a big change and i really want to add it on to this one question just thank you it's such a great question I just, I feel like it's probably about time that Mark Wright Deluxe is where I focus on from now on, if that makes sense. And I hope you guys are okay with that. I mean, leave down any opinions and options and stuff you guys have got down below because I really want to see you guys' opinions on this. Because this is going to be a huge thing coming to the channel and this will be the new beginning of the Rider, Rider Games channel. It's going to be a new beginning because 2023 is right around the corner and I'm kind of going to start it from there. Um, I've got a big video coming out on Christmas Eve for you guys as kind of a big thing, you know, to say thank you for all the amazing memories we've made of Marker Tour. I'm not leaving the community. I'm not leaving anything. Like I've said, I'm going to keep repeating this. I know I said it so many times. Not leaving the game or anything. I'm still making videos on it, all right? I think it's just time, guys. 
that's all I've really got to say. There's not much else I've got to say anything about this because I want to leave it to all your guys' opinions and your thoughts. I want to hear everything of what you guys have about this topic because it will be something completely different and I want to see what you guys think. I think I would have more content actually out more than usual. And I, I want to do some mod showcases, like I said. I want to talk more about the waves. I want to talk about the future of Mario Kart itself. I want to do, like, multiplayer live streams, like, with Tyler had asked. Like, I want to do more bigger things on this channel with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Still going to do Mario Kart, okay? Just saying that one last time. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it off here. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you enjoyed my pipe pulls, Q&A, and then this big topic. Um, I'm going to let you guys decide down below, and I'll see you guys all with the, the um, upcoming tour preview we'll be getting either Thursday or Friday. Hoping it's We Are Ember Road for Marker Tour, but yeah, I'll see you guys until then. Um, stay tuned for Christmas Eve, of course, afterwards, so thank you all so much for watching, and see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, bye-bye.